everybody, it's me Lego True Battle Manel, and uh, here we are back with um, the second part of my Lego Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 uh, minifigures series, if you can call it that. It's only two parts, so I wouldn't really call it series, but um, well, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, again, uh, from uh, the Ministry of Magic, like uh, the last one, and um, I'm really excited to, uh, to show them to you. So uh, I haven't really been doing that many figures uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, because, well, I was in Norway, as I said in my last video, and then um, I just uh, turned 18 um, for a couple of days ago. Um, so, uh, yeah, I had to celebrate that. And um, also just uh, chilled with some friends and stuff, so I uh, didn't really get to uh, to do much. But uh, I hope I will be able to uh, to make some here uh, in the, the last week of uh, of my holiday. So, uh, yeah, we'll barely, that'll be exciting. But other than that, I just uh, think we should uh, jump right into it. I don't want to talk uh, too much about um, a lot of other uh, unnecessary stuff right here. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first minifigure here is uh, Yaxley, as you can see. And uh, I actually think it was, uh, it was pretty fun to, to work on. I really like his um, his vest underneath here. And uh, he has a... Uh, has a uh, a pocket watch in here. It was pretty fun to to do that. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I I really like it. Um, the pattern on um, on the um, the vest here is just a, from a pattern I found in Google or something. Um, but I think it turned out really good. Um, and for the jacket, it's um, it's pretty simple and not much going on. But uh, I think it's enough to uh, to to make it look good. And on the back, we don't really have much going on, just a tad bit. Um, as I said before, it's it's a little difficult to uh, to make small amount of printing because it looks too plain. But I've, I've talked about that a lot before, so I'm not gonna get to talk about that too much um, again. And um, yeah, the head um, is Elrond from um, Lord of the Rings, and I think it looks pretty good on uh, on actually here. Um, so yeah, not much else to that. Um, just think it uh, it looks good, and you can see the hair piece is um, is again painted. Uh, I've done that a couple of times before. Um, not something I do very often, but um, well, it can uh, it can add more to the figure. So uh, so I think it's sometimes uh, necessary. Um, it is the the hair from um, I think it was first released in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, for Will Turner. And I just uh, painted it in uh, in tan so it uh, it fit to the axle here. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, overall, this figure. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, much it for for Yaxley. So the next minifigure here is uh, Pyth Thickness, who uh, gets the post as uh, the Minister of Magic in the Summers movie under the influence of the Imperius Curse. Um, I can't remember if he was in the Order of the Phoenix before. But uh, or just in the ministry, but uh, yeah, a Death Eater cast an Imperious Curse on him, and I can't remember who it is. Um, I need to uh, to read uh, to read on my homework there. I can see. Um, but yeah, gets the post as the Minister of Magic, and uh, he was uh, he was pretty fun to do. I was uh, actually first I thought on just doing the head because I uh, I had a torso that uh, fit pretty good to him. It's uh, from an old Spider Man set, and it's also in this uh, dark gray. Um, but then I thought, well, why not just doing do the torso as well? Because um, it will be more accurate, uh, even though it looked pretty good before as well. Um, but yeah, the head is custom made, as I just said. Um, I think the uh, I mixed um, Thranduil from uh, The Hobbit and um, Jack Sparrow. Uh, the beard down here is uh, Jack Sparrow's, uh, and Pretty much the rest of the head is uh, Thranduil, uh, with some modifications here and there, of course. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the head turned out pretty good. Um, actually, I think it's um, one of the heads that I made that turned out the best, um, if I do say so myself. But yeah, um, the torso is um, pretty simple. It's just a jacket and vest underneath, and then this um, uh, light blue shirt and uh, a light uh, dark blue um, tie. So not much um, interesting stuff going on there, but uh, I think it looks uh, looks pretty good. And if you look on the back, let me just take off the the hairpiece. 
Um, you can see there's not much going on. Uh, it's pretty much the same as uh, you actually just um, with the stripes continuing on the back here. Um, as is also on the front, of course. So yeah, um, it's not much um, to by the thickness actually. Um, I think it looks uh, looks pretty good. So the last mini figure here is a Dolores Umbridge, and she was actually the figure that uh, delayed this video and the video before uh, a lot, uh, because I had to to get the skirt for her, which was in uh, the new um, Simpsons minifigure series, um, and I had to wait for that to um, to be released um, before I could make this. Uh, uh, this figure. Um, other than the skirt, um, I actually finished her relatively early because um, there's not really much uh, going on. As you can see, um, the, the um, her torso here is actually pretty plain. There's only a little bow tie um, up in the corner here. Uh, other than that, there's not really anything at all. Uh, it's just uh, pure um, pink. Uh, same goes for the back. Um, there's not much going on at all. Um, just um, highlight uh, her curves and uh, and that. Um, but the LC was uh, it was pretty straightforward. Um, I also um, painted a stripe around the the shirt down here. Um, it's it's a skirt, sorry. Um, and uh, exposed the skin as you can see. And then uh, the head um, was also relatively simple to do. I just um, um, I looked at the the face um, that they use in uh, the video game. And just pretty much copied it um, with a few variations here and there, of course, uh, to get the the look that I was uh, I was going for. Um, but other than that, it was not not much to her. She was uh, she was she was pretty easy to do, uh, and I think it turned out um, turned out pretty good. So uh, yeah, I think it was uh, the Los Ambridge. So that's pretty much it for my um, Lego Harry Potter and the, the Deathly Hallows Part One series, if you can call it that. Um, yeah, I um, I hope I will be back with some more figures uh, after the holiday, but uh, I don't know when exactly that will be, because um, I have a lot of figures uh, already done. I just need to uh, to make a video, uh, and I also need to make a lot of other figures. So I don't know when the next video will come up, but I hope it will be in around a month or something uh, but I have no idea so uh, <laughs> let's just see what will happen but I ho really hope you enjoyed this video uh, I really enjoyed these figures um, I um, I think it turned out really good uh, all three of them so, uh, so I'm really satisfied with them and I, I hope you will, uh, will like them as well and please if you like this video please uh, share with your friends or like it or something like that um, post a comment uh, say what I uh, what you think I should uh, should do next um, um, other minifigures and, uh, and stuff like that. Other than that, um, you can check out uh, my uh, Facebook page or my um, Instagram um, page. Um, also Flickr, of course, uh, where I have a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff on there. And you can also see what uh, minifigures I'm working on at the moment. But other than that, I think uh, I think we should, uh, we should uh, end this video. So uh, let it pretty well now. And yeah, goodbye.